welcome back. Is it science or more like science fiction? There are scientists working on the idea of freezing a body with the hopes of someday bringing it back to life. ABC Action News anchor Lauren St. Germain shows us how animals are now becoming a big part of this unorthodox form of being laid to rest. It may look and sound unconventional. Each patient is in an aluminum pod like this. Metal pods instead of a casket or an urn. 186 people from around the world have chosen this facility in Arizona as the place where their bodies will lie and rest after a process called cryopreservation. The idea of cryonics is if you can protect the cells, take the body down to super cold temperatures, minus 320 Fahrenheit, that will stop everything. Frozen until someday science advances enough to thaw them back to life. You can see some of their faces and read their stories on the walls of the Alcor Life Extension Foundation office. We notice they're mostly white males and we're told most of them are scientists or researchers, all highly educated. There's also a science fiction writer from China and a three-year-old girl with brain cancer from Thailand. We don't call them bodies, we call them patients because I really do see these people as in something like a long-term coma, but just no, with no better metabolic activity. All preserved in metal tanks filled with liquid nitrogen in super freezing temperatures below minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The standard models, we got four whole body patients and a bunch of neuro patients. It's not just people preserved in these containers, but also pets. 86 animals cryopreserved in this facility, mostly cats and dogs, but there's also a chinchilla, a turtle, and a rhesus monkey preserved here. So why? Alcor members strongly believe science will someday find a way to unfreeze these pets and bring them back to life. If you love an animal, why not have it come back with you in the future, assuming that this will work? Dr. Moore says he doesn't believe he'll live to find out if this medical technology would ever work. We make very clear about that. We're not guaranteeing anything. We don't know if this is going to work for sure. We don't know if the organization will survive. There's all kinds of ifs and buts. But in the name of science, he's ready to donate his own body to research right alongside his golden doodle, Oscar, who's already cryopreserved in a container. So I hope my dog, Bella, lives on in real life forever. But if you want to cryopreserve your pet at the facility in Arizona, it's about $200,000 and significantly less if you just want to do their brain. Lauren St. Germain, ABC Action News.